Hey everybody, this is Joby and uh, today I want to talk about a named weapon set from Silks of the Sun. But before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification bell. Best way to help me grow is to watch my videos and I make a video every single day no matter what. Alright, so let's get started. Um, Silks of the Sun I think it's a good replacement for Burning Spellweave. If we look at the stats, in just a second I'm going to show you. It's a drop that comes from the boss inside this uh, delve here in Stonefalls. Uh, so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is look at our sets. If we go to Collections, Sets, Ebon Heart Pact. If we go to Stonefalls, I just was in there and so I got some of the Shulk's gear. Um, so like with Silks of the Sun, if we look, it's uh, two items, 70, 755 spell critical, 994 maximum magicka, 117 spell damage, and 362 spell damage to your flame abilities. And that's up the whole time. There's no cooldown and just anything that you have a flame ability for it will add 363 spell damage. All right, so if we go to um, Burning Spell Weave and we go to City of Ash, we look, you can see I have... The incredibly difficult burning spell weave inferno staff okay so this is um adds 1032 maximum magicka 121 spell damage 784 spell critical and the fifth item bonus is when you deal damage with a flame damage ability you apply the burning status effect to the enemy and increase your spell damage by 461 for eight seconds these effects can occur once every 12 seconds it is better i mean the burning status you know they'll take more damage when they're on fire and your spell damage will be 461 but it's only for eight seconds and then you have to wait 12 seconds for the cooldown so if you really looked at the dps you know the 361 that was constant and then for any of the flame damage and uh compared to 461 for only eight seconds then with a 12 second cooldown probably pretty close but Maybe some of my n math nerds can calculate it and let me know because I couldn't be bothered to tell you the truth. But here's the real situation. This is something that's always very important for me is that um, sustainability. When I say sustainability, I mean something you can get, you can tolerate. Because to get this staff right here, this uh, burning spell weave staff out of City of Ash, at the time I had two tanks and a healer. And I ran each one of those. I ran... City of Ash three times a day for seven weeks. That's 147 runs of that dungeon. Before I finally got Burning Spell Weave Inferno Staff for my Dragon Knight. I got it out of a master chest. It was up by the tree near the warden. I saw it, popped it open, and I was just like, I'm never coming in here again. But the good thing about having done that is that if you look here, I got a one-handed axe. I got the Resto Staff, the Inferno Staff. The lightning staff and I got a shield and the shield that's a pretty rare drop uh, you know it's a magic cassette but I run it on my Dragonite that's a PvP character so I'm still very happy with it shackle breaker and burning spell we've lots of sustain pretty tough so I'm gonna keep that but you know it is a PETA because you have to run it a lot and if you look on uh, you know on the web there's lots of people talking about how it's so much trouble and hard to get. I mean, Kev DeWitt in his videos even went in as a Nightblade and only looked for chests, you know, before the barrier. So, Silks of the Sun, something you can try out. You can farm it anywhere here. Uh, I'm in Stonefalls, which is right above Deshaun. And where we are is probably the closest way shrine would be um, Rogar's Hold. Or, you know, you can come down here to the Sulfur Pools. There's even a world boss out here, and that's the Matron's Clutch, and uh, I believe it's I believe it's a, like a big draw Truger Spider, Draugr Spider, and uh, here's where we are is this uh, delve. The delve is called High Tide Hollow. Let's go inside. Okay, so this delve is a really great example of something. Uh, the boss is here, but it's really not because when you look here, you can see when you run this way, like. This is the first level, and then you run down here. You have to run all the way around. You start going up, and then it's like an upper level. So if you just come over here, you're like, oh, this is easy. I can just run in here, but actually, there's no boss here. What you have to do is run this way. 
please help a brother out. Poor sister. You just never know by looking at their character. Okay, so uh, you can also kill these shocks. Get a little bit of beetle scuttle. I'm always down for a little bit of beetle scuttle. A little bit of beetle scuttle. Forget about it. Alright, so... Um, yeah, just keep running around. It's pretty straightforward and easy. I don't know if I'll get the drop. I was in here earlier and I killed the boss like three times and I didn't get it. It's a, it's a named item, just like with Wolfjaw from Spriggins and then the Infused Bow. So, I'm not really sure if I'll get it. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But if you really want it, if you want that Inferno Staff, just come in here. Maybe park it. If you have an extra character, just park an alt in here. And then log in, you know, when you first start to play. Hit the boss. Eventually, you'll get it. That's what it is about grinding. Now see he's up. There's a chest. Now I'm definitely taking that. Simple, but what are you going to do? Take all that stuff. And, um, here we go. If there was other people here, I would just, uh, be nice, but I'm the only one, so I'll just kill him. When I say be nice, I just mean do light shots. I got Boots of the Red Mountain, and that's it. And now we wait. All right, he's up again. That guy started wailing on me while I turned on the video. How dare you. Most of the time I'm really lucky with RNG, except when I'm not. <laughs> you just got to forget when you don't get it. There's the uh, Shock Sabatons. Yeah, didn't get it. All right, we're going to do one more time. Okay, he's up again. Here we go. Come on. Come on, flame staff. No. Nope. So, in that kind of case when you don't get any drop out of the um, out of the boss, it's because of a probably timer has like a five minute timer and it hasn't been five minutes yet well that's really about it i mean all you need to do is come here and the the boss's name is uh Udegu, i think let me see where did he go he is despawned when they despawn really quick like that it's uh they're not supposed to pop up that fast so this is Odego's journal if you're interested in things like that you can get the uh the book so it's a named item weapon there's several of them here in uh, stone falls and it's the flame staff from this guy uh, as you can see it's not a guaranteed drop but just like wolf jaw from the uh, wolf father and then spinner staff from bone cruncher you know you just have to keep farming it so you can come here farm this and the nice thing is if you want you could make it purple and then you could sell it uh, burning spell weave you cannot sell burning spell weave is better to be sure, but um, maybe you don't want to run that dungeon a thousand times. <laughs> All right. So please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you'd like to see. Or if you have any kind of problems, if I can help you, I'll be more than happy to. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. And if you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity. We have 298 members with no one pending and 39 members online. Oh, there he is again. Let's do it. This will be the time. Come on. Yeah. This is it. Nope. Shoes of the sun. That's okay, though. It's always good to get the other sets for the sticker book, and I think it's fantastic. So, my name is uh, Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Send me a message, add me as a friend, and I'll get you in my guild as soon as possible. So, until that time, let's get paid. <laughs>